Hey guys, uh, so today we're going to be talking about best animated short. Uh, I don't have a ton of time to go over this one because uh, in about half an hour we're going to be starting a, a read-through of Captain Spirit because that is my life right now. I'm in the middle of pre-production, in the middle of making a movie. It's really, really exciting. And yet at the same time, I'm still trying to get these Oscar prediction videos to go out at the same time. Why? because I really love all of my subscribers, and also I might not be entirely mentally well. Okay, so best animated short. This is a category that a lot of people don't care about, but I'm going to predict it, and I'm probably going get, to get it wrong anyway, because the last two years in a row, I got all three of the short categories wrong. So, it's probably wise if you don't pick whatever I'm going to pick. It's just, I'm just bad luck when it comes to the shorts. But I'm gonna try. I think animated short, I feel like I know what the winner is. What the winner is gonna be. But, uh, we can't be sure. So let's talk about the nominees. Fifth most likely to win is Late Afternoon. So, I actually have the official website of the Academy where they list uh, the synopsis. The synopsises? Synopsises. It's a weird world to plural. But... They list what happens in the short film, and uh, in the case of Late Afternoon, the synopsis is Emily, an elderly lady with dementia, is increasingly alienated from the world around her. Whenever she sees her reflection, Emily wanders through memories of her childhood and young adulthood and thereby attempts to use her past to reconnect with the present. Man, now that I'm reading the synopsis out loud, I'm regretting it putting it number five. If this wins, <laughs> oh god, uh, I don't know. I just I was really hedging my bets this this one, and I don't know, and I don't know how I predict these. I feel like this probably isn't number five in the countdown, but I just everything else I feel might have a bit of a better chance. Um, I I don't know. It has an acute art style, but usually they go with something with a little bit more of an interesting art style. I think the art style is half of the work with this one a lot of the time. But, I don't know. Again, I haven't seen any of these except for one. And, uh, yeah, I just don't really know how to phrase this. I think I'm... This, just something about it doesn't seem like a winner. So, with that being said, fourth most likely to win is Animal Behaviors. Or animal behavior, actually. And so the synopsis for this movie... Uh, let's see, it's, it's taking a while to load. A group of five animals with emotional and psychological problems meets for therapy with compassionate canine Dr. Clement. Their group dynamic is, tackle, is rattled by a new member, Victor, a gorilla with anger management issues who believes that talking cannot change someone's innate tendencies. So from what I understand... This is uh, more of a comical short than anything. There's not a lot of emotion to it, and it's very poor art style. And everything about it screams number five, which is why I'm, I put it, which is why I'm so worried that it can win. Uh, I was afraid to put this number five because it felt like a number five, and those are always the ones that come out of, of nowhere and win. But I was I wasn't confident enough to put this higher than four either. Uh, I just don't. I'm just so nervous with this category because I always get this wrong. I always get all the shorts wrong. So I don't know. I have no logic. There is no logic to the order that I, I do these things. But let's just let's just move on anyway, right? Who wants to argue? I don't know. If you want to predict this, sure. Because all of these could win and I really know nothing. <laughs> when it comes to the show, I consider myself a pretty good Oscar predictor. But when it comes to the short film categories, I know nothing at all. Okay. Third most likely to win is Weekends. So this one has a really interesting synopsis for me. This one says, After his parents split up, a young boy must adjust to living with his mother during the week and his father during the weekend. Their new routine is difficult on all the family members, but is especially confusing to the youngster as his parents move on with their lives without each other. So really, all of these can probably win. Like, there's no... None of these have, like, zero chance. But this almost feels like it could win, or at least, like, it'll get votes. Because uh, the synopsis 
is touching. I always like stories about uh, children who are are innocent and and they don't realize the nature of the situation that they're in. Because uh, when you can tell a story like that from a child's point of view and the viewer has to read between the lines, like Room was a phenomenal example of this. But I, I, I don't know. I think this can... This could get enough support to win, but I just don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, it's 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 got that emotional hook, but I just I, I should maybe I should should have put this too. I don't know. I I just I just I don't even know what to think with the short film categories. I'm going to move on to number two in this category, which is one small step. Uh, film synopsis: Bolstered by the unwavering support of her devoted father, a humble cobbler, Luna Chu grows up determined to become an astronaut, although she is sometimes daunted by the obstacles she faces, Luna always shoots for the stars. So, this one, I don't know, this one feels like one of those short films that everyone thinks is going to win and then doesn't win, so I think it's not going to win and it might be lower than two, but at the same time, the fact that I'm placing it in that category might mean it's going to win. I don't know. Uh, I think... This could win. I wouldn't be shocked. I, I just sound so defeated by this category, by all the short categories. I can't predict them. But you know what? I am actually confident about this one. I feel pretty confident in my number one choice because my predicted winner, the film I think is going to win, number one, is Bao. So first of all, this is the only one I've seen. And this happens every year. Every year there's at least one short that was in front of a Disney or Pixar movie that I saw because I saw the movie. And every year, like, that's the one that most people are going to recognize. And I think Bao really makes a strong case for itself. If you haven't seen it, a lonely Chinese mother suffering from empty nest syndrome is thrilled to become, is thrilled to become a parent again when one of her homemade dumplings comes to life. As Dumpling grows, however, the inevitable conflicts between parent and child arise, and Mom must acknowledge that no one stays little forever. Okay, so, if you haven't seen this one, uh, it starts out as a very simple, cute, and charming Pixar short. Uh, it gets a little bit weird as it goes on. Then it has one of the biggest, oh my god, WTF moments to ever come out of Pixar. And then, once you realize what it was all building up to, that's when your heart just melts. Like, this has got to be one of the most emotional Pixar shorts ever. Which is weird, because the movie it comes in front of, Incredibles 2, is not a terribly emotional film. Like, Pixar's known for making you cry, and with this one I feel like they had no intention of making the actual movie that emotional or tear-jerking an experience, so they said, let's take all of our tear-jerking abilities and put it into the short. And so I think this could win, especially seeing how Incredibles 2 is probably not going to win Best Animated Feature. Some voters might be like, well, I want to vote for Pixar in something, and this is what they can give Pixar. It Plus, it's like, it's about the main character is Asian, and there's representation there, and there's... I think this is one people will have seen. I do wonder if people might think it's too weird, but then again, that's never stopped a lot of animated short films from succeeding in this category. A lot of them are weird. I think... Yeah. Because if I, if I pick something else, I'm just going to be wrong anyway. And then I'm going to feel so guilty and weird when Bao wins. Because of course, Bao is the frontrunner. Even if it doesn't win, we have to consider it the frontrunner. I know Pixar doesn't always win in this category, and they lost last year, but I mean, Lou was cute, but it didn't scream winner. This feels like a winner. Like, even when the short ended, I was like, well, that's winning the Oscar. And again, I haven't seen the other ones, so I can't make that kind of comparison. And one of these years, I really should just sit down and watch all of the movies, because that's the best way to judge them. Okay, uh, yeah. I don't really know what else needs to be said. I think that Bao is the favorite going into this category, but I would not be shocked to see any of the other nominees come out on top here. Okay, so that is my prediction, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.